Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of adding one of the gas giant's moons around the earth. So last episode we did Uranus's moons, obviously we've already done Jupiter and Saturn as well, so today we're going to be doing Neptune's moons. Now I think this could go quite well because Neptune's moons, I mean the largest one is Triton, it's not that big, I mean it's a little larger than Pluto and Earth, obviously the moon is larger than Triton, so if Earth can hold on to the moon it should be able to hold on to Triton no problem. So I just want to see can it hold on to the other moons that are further out than Triton? Because Neptune's moons are quite a weird bunch. They are, they have, their orbits are a little bizarre with their distances. So we're going to go ahead and see if Earth can hold on to them. So what we need to do, obviously, is we need to replace Earth with Neptune to start off with. So replace. Let the game do its sing. Okay, so Neptune, hello. Okay, cool. Right, and then all we need to simply do is add the moons to Neptune. Like so. There they are. Okay. Then we need to just go all the way to slow down time. Press play, pause it. Okay, then we need to go to view. We need to go to... Ah, it's annoying. All my settings have been messed up because I've been on the future version of the game. Okay, so here's all the moons. So where is where is Triton anyway? There's Triton. Okay, so we can see some of the moons are already going to orbit the sun. There's no question about that. So all we need to simply do now is replace Neptune with Earth. Now, I've got a good feeling about the moons are very close because, I mean, they are, they're small, they're close... I don't see any problems going on there. It's Triton, I think, it's going to be the one to work. So let's just see if this works. So I haven't done Auto Orbit. I'm hoping it's just going to work. Ah, damn, no, it doesn't. Oh, that's so annoying. They should just lock onto Earth. Okay, so let's do that again. All right, okay. All right, so again, same experiment, but obviously we have to manually interfere. So let's go ahead and replace Earth. Neptune once more. Okay, Neptune... There you go. Okay. So uh, press play, get Neptune spawned in. Then again, add the moons in. Like so. Let me slow down time. Press uh, play, pause. Then replace the object with the Earth. Like so. So Earth, there you go. Okay. Right, now we need to simply do is auto orbit the whole bunch of moons. So as we can see, if we go to view. This is going to drive me absolutely nuts if I don't add these back. <laughs> I'm so used to them like this. I can't do it the other way. <laughs> so chart mode. Let's just get a bunch of the stuff in there. Uh, where are we? Add the add button as well. I need that. Okay, that's the mostly of what I need for now. So view. I mean, we can throw in uh, background and stuff. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that's looking good. All right, cool. Right, so just so I got all my bits back right cool right so let's go ahead and open this uh yeah so we got all of these guys so we've got to orbit mode okay so we need to auto orbit all of these guys and sort of see what these are going to do so we need to auto orbit also the orbits may not be exactly perfect but i really don't know there's no other option for us to really do otherwise they'll just sling out again so looks like the orbits are going to go a little weird here but as soon as i press play it should fix them so we'll go ahead and see how that plays out so I don't know why they're doing that, I have to say, it's a real bizarre. Um, let's go ahead and do says Protoss as well. Okay, then Triton. I think Triton's probably going to be the last one because there's no way that any of these are going to orbit. I mean, we can try it in Ariad as well. But I think that's just going to orbit the sun, yeah. Okay, right, so let's try. These are all the moons that have any chance of doing it. So we're going to go ahead, slow down time, press play. There you go. Okay, right. So Neptune's moons in orbit of the Earth. Let's see how this plays out. So we can see all the other moons, they're way too far. I mean, some of them are almost on the way to Mars. Other ones are close to Venus. So, yeah, these are the only ones that have a real shot. And what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the moon just as a comparison as well to see where the moon would roughly sit. So, where is the old moon? Okay, so the moon is here. So roughly the distance of Triton from Neptune. Look, that is very, very similar to Triton's orbit. So the moon is roughly, or Triton is roughly the distance of the moon from Neptune. So fun fact for you there. Right, okay, so Triton. I think this will, I think this simulation will run very, very nicely, actually. I mean, I don't see any issues with um, these objects that are going to play out. I think they're all, obviously Triton's the large one, it's the furthest out. I really don't see any issues with uh, with this, honestly. I think this is all going to play out um, pretty cool, I have to say. So, yeah, let's see how this, let's see how this rocks. So, press play. Now, all the inner moons here, these are, these are all little asteroids and stuff. So, I reckon they'll be completely fine. So, let's just let time play out. We've got Triton out there. Triton, obviously, will be perfectly fine. So, let's see how that runs. I think Neptune's moons are going to be a very, very nice, uh, consistent bunch, really, because 
that Neptune, or yeah, around Neptune, Triton is the only large moon that can really have any effect on anything. Um, and the theory was that maybe Triton actually ejected some of Neptune's original moons. Who knows? Maybe Triton was responsible for getting rid of some moons, because obviously it's the only proper spherical moon, the only large dominant object around Neptune, so... Be interesting to see. Maybe, maybe, maybe it did eject some objects out. Maybe it didn't. Who knows? But the theory still states it probably didn't form around Neptune. It's probably a Kuiper Belt object that got captured due to its retrograde orbit. But yeah, interesting stuff. Right. So obviously this is going to play out perfect. I mean, look, there's there's no way anything here is going to go wrong. Those those moons are all so nicely packed together. Earth's gravity is strong enough to hold on to them all. No problem. We can see it overall out of all the gas giants, Neptune's moons are the ones that have held very very well remember uranus's moon saturn jupiter's some of those moons started to go all peculiar but neptune's moons looks like a perfect set around the earth no problems there at all so very very cool we can see the temperature on them is warming up as well no surprises there we are closer to the sun let's actually have a look Tryson, how are you doing 198 minus 198 is that going to warm up i wonder let's have a look so i want to see if any of these change at all so let's have a little look Triton surface here so any any changes here so it is warming up slowly so what we're going to do is I'm going to put it to I don't know minus 50 we're going to see how it sort of okay it still gets colder for minus 50 because it doesn't have any greenhouse effect to really look after it so it will just be like cold like the moon would be so yeah no uh no chance there of any temperature but yeah still pretty cool so there you are that is a perfect perfect uh, orbit set around the earth there so yeah not all the moons obviously but a good bunch of them have um broken away look one of them is almost in the orbit of mars this one over here look it's literally crossing the orbit of mars now look at that so that one is completely in the different segment of uh the inner solar system now so pretty crazy stuff we've got Nerea. that's the next one out other than from triton but yeah no chance of that ever coming back so yeah Earth got a nice nice clean set of moons there really i mean can't see anything that's going to happen here but one thing we know about Triton is it is slowly spiraling in towards Neptune. So what if it was to do it to Earth? Just to make things more interesting. So it's 24 days, but obviously its orbit is slowly getting closer and closer to Neptune every so often. So eventually it's going to get so close that it could upset the inner moons and also obviously get torn up by Earth's roosh limit and obviously Neptune's roosh limit as well. So what if it was to start getting closer to the Earth until... Its orbit starts to get dangerously close, as you can see. And Roosh Limit, Earth's gravity, is going to tear Triton to shreds, being too close to the parent planet. So as we can see, its orbit's slowly going to decay more and more. Uh, that may be a little too much. Let's uh, just do that again. It almost hit. It almost hit Earth there. So not good. Uh, let's just uh, let's just try and get a more spherical orbit again. Let's go. There we go. That's better. And then I just want to slowly move it inwards. So. That's, that's better, okay. Until its orbit gets so close that it's going to upset the other moons, possibly, and obviously Earth is going to tear it to shreds. So, oh, there you go. Why is it going? I'm pressing the minus button game. Go smaller. There you go, that's better. Let's just do that. What is going on? It doesn't want to get closer. It's trying to resist, but there you go. So Neptune, Moon Triton, obviously, it's going to orbit is eventually going to get so close to Earth, but Earth is probably going to shred it. Oh, does that look like it's gone? Oh, there you go. Oh, and yeah, Triton has been shredded. So there you go. And then in theory, once Triton eventually completely goes, so we'll just go ahead and manually cause some trouble now. So as it gets so close to the Earth, it's going to obviously be torn to shreds. So we're going to go ahead and manually explode it. There. Okay, so Triton is gone. And then obviously that explosion. So once you press play. So is that going to uh, create any fragments? Okay, there you go. So Earth has torn it to shreds. And Triton is gone. So in theory, all of that material would give Earth a ring system eventually. So we'll go with a simple 2 to 4 radius. Something like that. And there you go. So Triton, that's a, in theory, that's what Triton would eventually become if it was a moon of Earth. In theory, its orbit would still spiral outwards. I don't know why the explosion's done that. But there you go. So in theory, you would get something like this. Looks like the material is coming back towards the Earth. Actually, what's going on here? Well, it's actually becoming part of the ring system. Look, it's all going around. Okay. Interesting. Cool. But yeah, there you are. So, in theory, that is what would happen um, if it was around Earth for long enough. But we saw in its uh, in the current present-day version of Neptune's system, all of the moons, they all orbit Earth perfectly. Everything up to Triton, they all orbit Earth perfectly comfortably. There's no problems at all with any orbits. Nothing's wobbling around. Triton is the only large one. It doesn't cause any interference with the other moons because it's quite a nice distance out. So, yeah. 
And then obviously, eventually it would spiral in like it would to Neptune in theory. Um, and yeah, Earth would have a set of rings um, once it tears it to shreds. So you'd get something like this. So pretty cool. Very, very cool indeed. So there you are, guys. That does it for what if Neptune's moons orbited the Earth. So yeah, best result we've had out of them all so far. I mean, Neptune... Um, Neptune's moons, obviously they're smaller than um, the other moons. Well, Uranus's moons are actually smaller than Triton, but there's more of them. So, yeah, that was a good experiment. Obviously, Saturn and Jupiter's moons, they're a lot larger and they cause more trouble because there's more of them as well. But yeah, Neptune's moons, because there's so little of them and there's only one really dominant one, they actually work quite well in unison together and orbit the Earth nicely. So, there we are, guys. That does it for this experiment. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I believe... Um, some people are requesting to do Pluto's moons. Now, I think that'll be quite an interesting one. And I think Earth will be able to look after those moons quite well. So we will run that experiment in the future. So stay tuned for that. But with that all said and done, guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 24,000 subscribers. And yeah, with that all said and done, make sure we have a great day, guys. Stay safe up there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.